All right, Joe. So, that exciting news in the wrestling world this past Sunday night. Edge is all elite, a.k.a. Adam Copeland is all elite, the rated R superstar. Man, I never thought he would leave the WWE. I thought for sure he would be a WWE lifer like The Undertaker and just stay there forever. But what can you do, man? Uh, Vincent want to pay him, and then he's like, screw it, I'm just going to leave. And you got new bosses now. The UFC people are like the majority owner now. And it's publicly owned. The last few months in WWE, they didn't really use him well. Because he had that match with Grayson Waller. There was like no story there. I don't know why he's feuding with him. And then he had the match with Sheamus, his last match in WWE. It was a bit of a story there. Sheamus was the one that got him out. Or that, that gave him hope that he could come back in the ring. And then that led to the match three, three, four years later. 2018, 2019. When he started training with Sheamus, I think. Or whenever it was. But yeah, his he's, he's pretty much a part-timer now. He's older and his body can't handle the wear and tear like he used to. So I don't think... Because in the press conference after... Uh, Wrestle Dream on Sunday. Uh, he said he's going to wrestle every week. I doubt that. He'll probably appear every week. I don't think he's going to wrestle. Because his body can't handle it, man. Like he, when he was younger, man. He's almost 50. All right. Let's get to the, the main part of the pay-per-view. This is the, this was only the really the only match you care about. Most of it was his jobber stuff. And Ring of Honor stuff. And... All these random matches thrown last minute. 14 matches, man. That's insane. All right. So this bump was insane. So Christian, he he had him on the uh the apron and then he landed on on the ground there on the outside and then he just chucked Jar Darby Allen to the steps. I thought Darby Allen broke his back and then they brought the they got the ringside doctor there or the trainer or whatever. They're looking at him. I thought for sure it was done. And then uh, Christian did a frog splash through the stretcher. That was insane. And then we had this. At the time, I, I don't know I don't know why this guy turned on Darby Allen. There was no build-up to him turning heel. So this must have been out of the blue. Out of, so all of a sudden, whenever, ever since Ed showed up like a few minutes later, I just don't really care about this Nick Wayne guy. But he's helping. He's with Christian now. So maybe people will start caring. And then, uh, yeah, so Nick Wayne, he comes out there. He hit Darby with the chair. People are shocked and stuff. And then uh, Christian Cage wins. And then got the new debut, Radar Superstar, Edge. He can't call himself Edge. So he's got to go by his real name, Adam Copeland. He shows up. And oh, uh, well, first, uh, or before this, Sting came out there to help Dar uh, Darby. He got his ass whooped, and then Edge shows up. Uh, Darby's like in the ring for the setup for the concerto. Edge takes a chair from Christian. He looks like he's gonna hit uh, Darby Allen, but he hesitates, and he hit Nick Wayne. That son of a bitch, Nick Wayne, good God Almighty. <laughs> He hit Nick Wayne, then he hit Luchasaurus, and then I think uh, Christian ran away. And that was it for that. So we're gonna have Darby Allen feuding with Nick Wayne now, and then uh, oh, this was a cool moment: Edge and Sting to a legend shaking hands in the ring. It was a cool, this was a dope moment to see. All right. Who's Edge going to feud with? So the way they set it up, he's going to feud with... Uh, he's going to have a match with Luchasaurus, and then obviously they're going to do the build-up between Edge and Christian, probably to full gear. And then that's going to be Edge's big feud, first big feud, Edge and Christian. And then uh, in the press conference after the pay-per-view, he said he, uh, he's got a list of names he wants to feud with. He's never had a match with Samoa Joe. That would be a good feud. He brought up Kenny Omega. He brought up I think Jericho. 
even though the him and Jericho have already fought in WWE before. Um, who else? Uh, he brought up. Uh, I don't think he listed all the names. He just listed those three. There might have been some other names he mentioned, maybe one or two. But the one I'm excited excited for, you got to do Edge and MJF, man. You have to, man. I can't wait. They got to do that feud. It's going to be, that build is going to be good, man. Edge, the legend against the the new top guy, MJF, and the company. So, yeah, I'll be down for that. Uh, other ones, yeah, Edge, Samoa Joe. That's going to be good on the mic. Back and forth, the build up for that. Um, I think who else? Maybe a few Edge and Jericho. I don't mind seeing that. Him and uh, Edge and Daniel Bryan. They got history. They got a story. Him and uh, both uh, him and Daniel Bryan were the ones that got pinned by uh, Roman Reigns a couple years ago at WrestleMania when he stacked them both and he pinned them both in the triple threat match. So they could have a feud. Edge and Daniel Bryan. That'd be good. But yeah, a lot of options for Edge. He pretty much, I think he just ran out of people to feud with in WWE. So he pretty much already feuded. He feuded with Roman. He's already feuded with Rollins. Um, he feuded with AJ Styles. Pretty much feuded with like all the big names there in WWE. Yeah, so that was my thoughts on Edge, All Elite. First match is going to be against Luchasaurus next week on Dynamite. So we'll see what happens after that. You know, build the match, uh, build a feud with Christian and get to the eventual match. Yeah, that's my thoughts on Edge uh, joining AEW. He's all elite. All right. See ya.